What's the best way for women to take testosterone? This video looks at testosterone replacement for women from a compounding pharmacist's perspective. I'm Steve Goldring from SimpleHormones.com. I help patients and healthcare practitioners with easy to understand patient education resources. Most of those are about hormone optimization. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit more about testosterone optimization in women, especially in women who are going through menopause. Now, it's pretty common that women in menopause experience low sexual desire, low libido, and one of the treatments for that, as I mentioned in another video that I'll link to at the end of this one, is testosterone. Now, testosterone is not uh, so-called FDA approved for women. And that's a problem for some people, but it doesn't mean that women can't use testosterone to help with low libido issues. Now, not only is testosterone used to help increase libido in women, especially after menopause, but also sometimes in perimenopause, the four to six, maybe even 10 years leading up to menopause. But testosterone also has uh, several other benefits in addition to increasing libido. It can help reduce something called sarcopenia, which is called muscle wasting. It's the loss of muscle that often we get as we, as we age. It can help decrease the loss of bone in osteopenia or osteoporosis. Now in women, this is most commonly related to the loss of estradiol, the female hormone estradiol at menopause, but the loss of testosterone also has an impact on the weakening and hollowing out of women's bones. In addition to uh, bone strength and muscle strength, uh, testosterone levels have a lot to do with insulin resistance and the risk for type 2 diabetes. Testosterone is also involved in strengthening cognition and preventing things like Alzheimer's disease. Some physician groups, especially one called the North American Menopause Society or NAMS, recommend that women do take testosterone for low libido, especially during menopause. However, what NAMS recommends is that a woman use an FDA approved dosage form that's a men's dose. And they basically just try however they can to get one tenth of a men's dose. Now, I, I see several problems with that approach. There are two very commonly used dosage forms and dosage devices that testosterone gel comes in for men. One is a foil packet and another is a pump device where the gel comes out in a metered dose. It would be extremely difficult for me as a compounding pharmacist to measure one-tenth of a man's dose in order to, for a woman to apply that dose. Now, I, I do not have a analytical balance where I can actually weigh that dose. If you, if you did try to weigh that one-tenth of a dose of a men's FDA-approved testosterone product, you'd probably end up with a sticky mess on your hands. You'd end up throwing away nine-tenths of every dose. Not to mention the fact that those are extremely expensive. Uh, the retail price of Androgel runs between $600 and $1,200 a month. Now, there are generics that are less expensive, but the point is they're very expensive and you would end up wasting a lot of those doses. So I would generally not recommend using a men's dose and trying to get one-tenth of it. Uh, it would be so inaccurate, you would be very unlikely to be able to get a consistent dosing from day to day. My recommendation is that you find, number one, a hormone optimization specialist, a provider that you can really trust who really knows how to measure testosterone, how to dose testosterone, and how to remeasure your testosterone uh, blood levels once you've started on a testosterone dosage. That hormone optimization provider will most likely have a compounding pharmacy and a compounding pharmacist that they trust. Now, one thing to remember is that compounding pharmacists have a reputation among some physician groups as being unregulated. A compounding pharmacist is regulated by the state board of pharmacy in the exact same way that your physician is regulated by the state board of medicine. A licensed compounding pharmacist can create a customized prescription 
for your testosterone, a cream or a gel that's applied transdermally or topically to the surface of the skin, maybe on the arm, maybe on the thigh, maybe on the inner wrist, various other places, depending on what your doctor's experience is. Your doctor will have some input as to what specific types of cream bases or gel bases they might prefer and they might have seen to be successful in their patients. Your doctor will uh, look at your lab values and see what your testosterone level is and decide how much testosterone they want to give you. They'll also look at follow-up labs to see how much testosterone you might need to continue to receive. Maybe you need a higher dose, maybe you need a lower dose. Many of these physician organizations like the North American Menopause Society are very concerned about supra-physiologic testosterone doses. And that can be a problem if doses of testosterone are too high, they can cause some issues. It's important to find two people that you can trust in that situation. The first is a qualified, experienced healthcare practitioner who knows how to prescribe testosterone and monitor it correctly. And the second is a qualified, experienced, compounding pharmacist who knows how to dispense a compounded testosterone transdermal cream or gel that really works for you and your physician. Your best option is to see a hormone optimization specialist. If you're a patient who is looking for a hormone optimization specialist, I happen to know a few of them all around the US and maybe a couple in some other countries. If you visit my website, there's a link on this video. I can uh, refer you to somebody in your area and give you some information that helps you understand your particular hormone optimization issues. If you are a hormone optimization specialist, I'd love to have you join my database. That way I might be able to send you some patient referrals of people in your area who are looking for some help with their hormones. If you like this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons and get notified anytime I post a new one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon.